Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member. Gain access to unseen videos and video requests. Three day free trial by visiting zionmembership.com. Chosen ones, empaths. These narcissists that are involved in your life are bizarre creatures. They're really bizarre creatures, right? And the thing is, is um, you being your happy, authentic, loving, caring self actually brought pain towards the narcissist. You actually hurt the narcissist more than you realize. Um, by you being like generally happy, doing well in your life, you know, I'm not saying that you was always like that, but for the moments that you were generally happy, shining bright, this this really hurt the narcissist that was involved in your life. This really it's really hurt them. Because ultimately, this, this was a figure that was in your life that was plotting and scheming and, and trying to make you miserable. They like people that are miserable. So if you're someone... I'm not saying they didn't affect you. I'm not disputing that. They may have done manipulation, gaslighting, devaluation. They may have hurt your feelings from time to time. I'm not denying that. But I bet there was moments during the time of this narcissist involved in your life where you were generally happy, where you were okay, you know? And at these moments, these precise moments, this, this inflicted narcissistic injuries because when you've got someone, there's literally their sole mission, their sole purpose is trying to knock you off track, is trying to hurt your feelings, is trying to make you upset, is trying to make you down. And you're not, that makes them feel invalidated. That makes them feel worthless. That makes them feel like all of their tricks and manipulation isn't working with you, right? That's what they feel like. Also, it's not just you being happy, you see. Um, you speak in your mind, you know, being a free thinker, not conditioned to the way the narcissist was trying to make you think or feel. You know, you expressing your true feelings. This hurts the narcissist in, in a myriad of ways as well. You know, there could have been a time where you made a statement or you expressed yourself towards the narcissist that was involved in your life. And you were merely just expressing from your heart's content the truth that you felt. Yes, the truth that you felt about a situation or a type of, yeah, a type of situation. You expressed yourself about this. It could have actually been nothing to do with the two of you. It could have been something to do with what happened with you at work. It could have been anything, right? It could also be about something to do with the two of you, the you and the narcissist involved in your life. This absolutely pissed them off. They don't like a free-thinking mind. They like people conditioned and indoctrinated to their way of thinking. And you being a free-thinking a free mind, an empath, a chosen one, you having the free-thinking mind, the individuality that you have, this causes them pain. Because if you understand that <clears throat> the narcissist involved in your life is restricted, yes, they're very, 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 very restricted. They can't talk what they always, they, they, they can't express themselves from their heart's content. They, they don't do that, right? And the reason they don't do that is because they harbor a lot of hate they harbor a lot of ill secrets <coughs> about the way and who they are. So never do they have the relief of actually expressing themselves. Maybe they might have one or two flying monkeys where they're able to express their evil plans and plots. And they have some flying monkeys that are, will reciprocate what they say and they're on board with them. Maybe they'll have that. But a lot of them don't have anyone who they can express their true heart's content with. Please press the like and the subscribe button. Help your brother out. It'll take two seconds of your time. Thank you. So when they witness you, this narcissist involved in your life, when they witness you expressing yourself, speaking your truth, being authentic, being true, they resented it. They envied it. They hated it. Right? This caused narcissistic injuries in them. Because there were certain things that you would talk about 
maybe when you was asleep to the abuse, you might have been asleep to the narcissist involved in your life, and you might have spoke about, you might have made a statement about <clears throat> someone at work that is deceitful or a liar, you know. And they would have engaged with you in the conversation. They would have said, oh, that's so terrible that that person is deceitful. Oh, they would have said, oh, that's so terrible that person lied. That's so bad. But really, they know full well that they're liars. They know full well that they're a liar. They're compulsive liars. So when you was talking about other things that happened in your daily basis, right, that wasn't to do with you and the narcissist, it was affecting them. Also, when you made statements about what they were doing, you might have called them out on something, spoke your truth and called them out on part of their behavior or called them out on part of their action. Prior to awakening, you would have just called them out on it, right? They got narcissistic injuries from this. They got affected severely from this, right? You need to understand this. You need to understand that the narcissist that was involved in your life got affected. They got hurt by you just being authentic, happy, speaking your truth, speaking your mind, speaking your heart. More than you realize, right? And this is the reason, right? Why just by you being authentic, just by you being a true transparent soul, they wanted revenge on you. They wanted to punish you for you being you. As crazy as it sounds, this is why a lot of discards come, reverse discards come. Because they can actually take this, like you've heard me mention before that the narcissist sees a shift in your behavior and they realize you awaken and that's oftentimes when they run away but they're always looking out for that so at times when you just spoke your truth or challenged them um they could have taken that as you were awakening before you was even awakening they was always on the lookout constantly the narcissist involved in your life was always on the lookout for when you awaken to what they really are because they're hiding the whole time in life they're hiding the covert narcissist anyway, the covert narcissists that are involved in your life, they're hiding their true intent, they're hiding their true feelings, they're, they're masquerading through life with artificial light, they're pretending to be something they're not. And they're always on the lookout for when you can see through it or for when you wake up, right? So just understand that you being who you were, you know, you being true to yourself, you being authentic, happy, genuine, kind, pure, Speaking your statements, expressing from your heart's content. This was all really infuriating the narcissist. This was really hurting them. Right? They love chosen ones and empaths because of the supply you produce. But what comes with being around this chosen one and empath is they have to mirror you. They have to pretend to be like you. They have to pretend to be on the same page as you. When really they're the furthest thing from the same page. They're the furthest thing from, the, from, from, from what you are. So you being who you are, you walking the way you do, talking the way you do, expressing the way you do, being happy the way you are, is a slap in the face for the narcissist involved in life. Not a physical slap in the face, but it's a big, it's a, it's a harsh blow that they have to face. Right? It's a hard battle for them to face that. Because they have to try and keep up with the facade day in and day out. And it grates on them. Right? So this is often why... You went through a chaotic discard or a chaotic reverse discard because you actually hurt the narcissist more than you realize that was involved in your life just by you being true to yourself. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can find the link in the description box. If you'd like a one-to-one -one session with myself, you can also find the link in the description box. Currently, I've got the secondary channel, spiritual channel. Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member, gain access to unseen videos and video requests, three day free trial by visiting zionmembership.com. So, anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.